had to turn my fan off for you. Not the ceiling one, but the one that's good. And it's just gonna get really hot in here now. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> So hi, it's fucking Blue the Dragon, and that's something I haven't said in a long time, but uh, just in case this wasn't incredibly obvious by now, I am gonna start making furry videos on this channel again. Don't know how frequently, don't know if they're gonna be good, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it, really. So I hope that's a decision that makes you happy. Anyway, today we're talking about Syria. What the hell does that have to do with furries? Well, let me explain. A lot of you may have heard about this already, but recently at a convention in Canada called uh, Vancouver, we love our puns in this fandom, don't we? If you're not aware, Vancouver is a furry convention that's held annually in British Columbia, Canada. It's generally held towards the start of the year, and this year saw 810 attendees, 170 of which were in suit, and they actually managed to raise to 1,750, yes, that's correct, good job me, uh, dollars for charity. <laughs> it looks sarcastic, but it's genuine. But none of those numbers are what made this year special. The reason this year stood out probably has something to do with the Syrian refugees that were staying in the same hotel at the same time. Originally, some people were concerned. I mean, you've got a bunch of people dressing up in animal costumes and a bunch of families from a war-torn country staying in the same hotel. How were they gonna interact, if at all? Maybe they shouldn't. Well, they did but it actually turned out to be a really good thing. The 171 fursuiters at the con actually greatly appealed to the Syrian children who saw them as nothing more than giant fuzzy animal characters with a big smile willing to give them a hug. I mean, what child wouldn't fucking love that? So the con kind of turned into just this field of support and friendliness and hugs and... Oh my god, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> some of the suitors even lent their fursuit heads to some of the kids who put them on and ran around looking absolutely ridiculous, but I'm sure it was definitely a great distraction from the horrible situation they were currently going through. Overall, I think the entire experience just would have been the best distraction for both the kids and the parents. It's definitely something you wouldn't really be able to ignore. So at least it's, it's, it's that, even if they didn't enjoy it. But from what I've heard, there were pretty much smiles all around, which is absolutely amazing that our weird interest could do something for so many disheartened people. I find it strangely fitting though that a bunch of people who have just come from a war-torn country and they don't really presently have a place to belong are kind of pushed towards this other group of people that are usually considered a group of outcasts and don't generally belong either and then they just kind of both uplifted each other so much and I was like oh oh isn't that just so fucking cute oh and then I realized I'm a man and I'm not allowed to have emotions so I stopped. I just think it was pretty cute, and I thought I'd spread the word of, um, a little bit of cute that happened, and, uh, a little bit of good that our really, really quite weird fandom can do for the world. What do you think of this situation? If you were there, would you have been one of the people trying to cheer people up, or would you be avoiding it at all costs? I don't know what I would do, to be honest. If I had a suit, I'd be hugging everyone, regardless of where they had come from and why they were at the hotel. They would be getting hugs, and it would be terrible. Oh my god. So gay sometimes. What? Um. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and we can have a little bit of a little, little bit of a chat. We can do that. Um, if I can manage to speak English again, that'd be nice. Also, since I am now making videos on this channel again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because uh, I'm trying to bring in a whole new, much more chill yet still strangely opinionated era of blue me. So um. Yeah, give it a try, you might like it. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. Oh, hold on. Well, fuck off.